fucked up. Yeah. Okay. Engineer, right? Yeah. Yeah. Although my husband's an engineer, and you'd be amazed at the number of things that are not replaced, are not fixed, but it's replaced. <laughs> What's going on, Tesla family? Today we're going to talk about MCUs, or media control units. They look something like this, and they house a lot of the electronics and circuitry that run the Tesla. They are the brains of the Tesla itself. Um, internal to that are several components. Not only the display itself, which we will show you how to take out, but also graphic processing unit and storage called EMMC, or Embedded Multimedia Control. Today, we're gonna to do a three-part series here. First, we're gonna show you how to take the MCU out. And the reasons you might wanna do that are because of a bubbling display or upgrading the wireless module from 3G to 4G. Or you may have problems with your storage and need to upgrade your storage. Currently, the eMMC is covered under warranty, and so that's something you can take your aging Tesla to uh, service center and have them replace that. Um, prior to that, folks were doing it themselves, and so we'll talk a little bit about that today. In addition, screen delamination or bubbling screens is a common problem, and so we'll show that in a separate video. And finally, with 3G being phased out, the need to upgrade to 4G has come about, and so we will show that module and how to replace that in a separate video linked in the description. We hope you enjoy the video, and thanks very much. Okay, one of the first things we need to do here is turn off our uh, pin to start. I've already done it here, but just uh, going through the motions. It's under safety and security. Pin to drive. There you go. Enter your pin, turn it off. That'll be the first thing. And here's the pry tools that I'm gonna use. I don't have a large assortment, so we've got a phone pry tool. And then we've got a metal one, but I wrapped the ends with some duct tape. So I thought that would soften it a little bit, and that's what I got. Okay, so we're gonna start by prying this side off. What? Then we'll do this side. Then there's a T20 screw right there we need to take out. Next we're going to take out a screw that is right here under the dash. Uh, other people have said that it is a Torx 20, but on mine it is a Torx 15. So uh, I'm not sure why it's different. Awesome. Now we're going to take this panel off right here. It's gonna sound really bad, but don't worry, it's okay. Start right here. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but seriously. All right, now we're gonna remove this piece here. It's all done by clips. So we just get at it. Infamous or famous? Okay, sorry. If you're wondering what's happening, I have a bubble here in the screen. 
So I'm gonna replace the screen here. Wow. You're doing it yourself. Yeah. Okay. Engineer, right? Yeah. Yeah. Although my husband is an engineer, and you'd be amazed at the number of things that are not replaced, are not fixed, they're just replaced. <laughs> Okay, now we have a Torx 15 here and there. Ooh, magnetic. I like it. So the next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to slip in some of these contractor bags. They blow up nice and easy uh, and make the job a whole lot easier. So I'm going to slide one in here on this side. And you can see here where I lifted up and kind of had to disassemble that. So that's really key there. Let's get as far back there as I can. And then uh, another one on the other side. See, there's a clip there, or something right there. So I'm gonna slide this in right here. Okay, and then we should be able to get to start pumping it up. Oh, let's get back in there. Now, to be honest, this is not easy with one hand. Okay, so I, I slid it more to the middle just because there was another clip there that was getting in the way. So this seems to be a good spot right here. Okay, now there's plenty of room. Now this one. Sliding over to the other side. We got looks like five screws. One. Two. Three. good so now we're ready to disconnect from the driver side the only one I recommend you disconnect is this uh, this one right here I think everything else we okay so only this side needs to be undone everything else we can get from the other side so let's get a screwdriver in there Start to work it Go to the other side. Okay, so let the unplugging begin. First one here, I'll do it again since you didn't need to see it. 
this piece. Get that in there. Okay, great. From that point, I can pretty much pull this whole thing out. And we can just start going. So, I'm gonna start, you know, from the passenger side, work my way to the driver's side on the top, and then reverse the process on the bottom. Here, we go across. There we go. This first one, the clip is on the top. Second one, clip is on the top. Get my thumb in there. And then all the way across. Can you see this on camera? Yep, on the top. And the last one, get my thumb in there. On the top. Come on. There we go. Okay. And then on the bottom, here I'll just start closest and work my way farthest away. This one is actually on the bottom side. So I'm gonna come in here, push up from the bottom side. This one is not, this one's probably one of the hardest ones for me. Cause I can't see what I'm doing here. Okay, we got it. Let's show you what that looks like. There we go. Big flat tab there. This one is also on the bottom, I believe. Yeah, big tab there. Fully depressing it. It's like I can't press it any further. I'm already pressing it. You can't press it any further. goodness you see how hard that is okay these next three are easy so easy and they're color coded you can't mess it up black gray red red try again brown <laughs> and then these ones the clips are on the bottom car's not happy and we don't want to mix these up because they look identical okay, this one over here That one over there. Okay, and the last two are way down here at the bottom. So this the push from the bottom, pull that one out, and then this last one, the main power for everything. Push again, push up, pull out. There's those two. We are done. It's in the way the whole time. So now I can just pull it away. At this point, we're going to break out videos for the common problems that the MCU has. If you're interested in replacing your screen due to delamination or bubbling, click on the pop-up in the top right to take you to that video. If you're interested in learning about how to upgrade from 3G to 4G, we have a separate video for that. Again, click in the top right in the pop-up to go to that video. Finally, if you're interested in learning more about the daughter card and the eMMC storage that's on that card, click on the bubble in the top right to take you to that video. Let's show you how to put this thing back together now. Okay, that's all of them. That is all of them. See what happens. There it is. That's it. Let's go to the web. Okay. Let's go to my favorite website. I was expecting blazing fast loading here. Anyways, I mean, we got one bar, so that could be the problem. But uh, we definitely have wireless, right? By the way, folks, come to my website. 
Engage in my services at austinevonly.com. These are our services. Repairs, battery reconditioning, and full EV conversion. That's what we do. This video is a part of that process of upgrading people to LTE. Prices are available online or contact us at the contact. All right, folks. Well, thank you very much for watching. Again, please like, please subscribe. Dad, who does here? Take care.